Hi everybody, today I wanted to talk to you about what the best soundbar for 2017 is. So I did a lot of research, I tried everything I could and I ended up uh, going with the Bose SoundTouch 300. I wanted to make sure that it was affordable, that it looks good, and that fits my lifestyle. So I didn't want to spend too much, but then again, this is not cheap. I went with the Bose SoundTouch 300 soundbar. So this soundbar has expandability options. You can add rear speakers, you can add a subwoofer, but alone, it is a perfect soundbar. Alone, you have a soundbar that not only is expandable, but sounds really good at whatever volume you put at it. And I'm gonna talk about what makes it the best in a second. All right, let's turn this on right now. Here we go. Like Charles Ziano was one of the areas hit last by Hurricane Harvey that went back out to sea and then came back and made another landfall on. this time striking right here this you have the region. Wi -Fi. Ryan Nobles, uh, that there were bit. several hundred people who had to be evacuated. Okay, you got the Wi Fi symbol. It's looking for the Wi Fi in the house right there, the second one. This is the TV. You're on the TV input. This is for your apps, your Wi Fi music for Pandora or whatever, Bluetooth. And this is the light that, that was on just at the end. That's looking for your surround speakers and your subwoofer. So that connected all right. Who might be waiting for okay. And they're interested in a particular passenger. Do you hear how clear that sound uh, is? Like three bags. The sound is just super, TV, super uh, crisp and clear. And that's from Bose. I really think they just have the best. It's hard to tell, but the sound is really good. Golden Corral's Prime Rib and Shrimp Spectacular is here. Slow roasted prime rib. Shrimp. These are the surround speakers. I have them shooting up from the back of the wall. Mules need nerves of steel. Really good. Stress is a dead giveaway. Sound is really amazing. For a pro like Officer Blito, I cannot imagine the sound being better out of this. You just turn it up as loud as you can. For anything out of the ordinary, will not distort. Any passenger looking suspicious, nervous, sweating, they don't give you eye contact. Sometimes they stir on the backs and they don't pick up the back for some reason. Okay, so this is the sound bar I have in front of me right now. As you can see, it has a tempered glass top so it's really nice it has beautiful tempered glass top which is very good acoustically does not affect that at all it has a metal grill all the way around so that's a solid metal grill all the way around it I'm gonna put the link below but but what I'm gonna tell you what it has in it so we have uh, a nice center channel that's that's right here so we got a chance center channel speaker we have two mid ranges on each side total of four we also have something that goes along the side here and it's about this long. This is a phase guide. So I don't know if you can even see this in the picture, but there's a, there's a line that goes here. This is a phase guide. This is what makes the sound bar amazing and what puts it ahead of the rest. When you, you don't need a lot of speakers in a room because this will image the speakers wherever you want. It places sound around you, which is amazing. They developed this with a television that they had way back, Bose had, that just the TV alone could put the sound around you without any sound speakers. So it, if you ever went to a Bose showroom, you could hear this uh, TV and it was amazing because you literally felt there was uh, uh, surround speakers all the way around you. So with this phase guide technology, it, it does that. It will put the sound where it needs to be and you really feel like you're in the room with a lot of sound. So what this has in it is seven Bose transducers. So we have one for each of the phase guides. We have four, a total of four, one for each of the mid-ranges, which is four mid-ranges, and one dedicated for the center. Let's so look, look at the back of it right now. You can see right here that uh, you've got some base ports. So there are some base ports, one on each side, and that'll give you your base, and as you get close to the wall, you get more base with it. So let's look, so this is the virtually invisible surround sound speaker. So this is one of them. It is amazingly 
small. It's not too big. It's a little heavy because, it, you know, it's it's got a little weight to it. It does not have a glass top as everything else does, but it does have a rubber bottom, just kind of keep, keeps it solid. Um, so it at two ninety nine for a pair of these, it comes with some uh, some other items that you need for the transfer to to receive the wireless. But at two ninety nine, it's not cheap, but I find they're definitely add something to the sound and I I would recommend it. I would rec recommend it other than the sub. I don't think you need the sub as much as I would just take the 299 and get some of these just to give you that more surround effect if you like that. Some people don't. I find that when you run the Acoustamass, it balances the sound really evenly. So very, very good choice in my book. So why is this the best sound bar for me in 2017? I really think that it images the sound around me very well. Um, no matter what size room you have, I find that the center channel can be adjusted separately. I think that is very important. With the Sonos, I was not able to adjust the center channel directly up, and I just wanted a little kick on the center channel. Um, I find I needed more brightness there. You could do that with this. Even though I didn't need to with the Bose, I needed to with the Sonos, and I couldn't do that. So I really find that that for clarity in sound and imaging of the sound effects around, this does the best job. Also, I am a big fan of bass, and I do like a little bass in my music and a little bass in my TV when I'm when I'm listening to uh, to shows. So I really feel that when you use this, you're going to experience that. And um, with the phase guide, it will. It will uh, put the sound effects around you and with the bass ports and with that distortion free bass, you're going to get that clear, crisp bass. And that is what I, you, can't, you can't get with anything else. And I, and I really find it, it does it very, very well. Um, price point at $6.99 is still pretty high. I don't think that um, it's at the price point for some people, but if you're going to spend your money, just get the sound bar. You can expand later for the surround sounds or the subwoofer. Just that sound bar will be enough to really change the experience in your living room. Okay, so how much does this cost? This costs six hundred ninety-nine dollars for the subwoofer. What I meant to say, subwoofer it's six ninety-nine for the I really sound think bar that's a good value and six ninety-nine for the subwoofer and two ninety-nine for really the don't rear need anything else. surround if you've ever heard speakers. Both sound, I'm a big fan. So. With this soundbar, you can connect your phone or tablet to it via Bluetooth, of course, like you can do most uh, sound systems. So you can run that to it and you can use it to uh, listen to any kind of streaming content you have on your phone or tablet. Additionally, the app which you use to set up the device will have some additional features. Uh, you can use Spotify, Pandora, Deezer, you can use iHeartRadio, Tune in, Sirius FM, things like that. So pretty much a, a standard thing, but if you want to use any of your customized music, you can just you know use your uh, Bluetooth if you want. It sounds really good. Okay, so let's talk about the remote. So I got the remote here. I'm gonna put it right here. And this is the remote that comes with it. It's very nice. Um, I'm just gonna go through you. It's a universal remote, so you can use it for most things that you're uh, you're doing. I use it for my cable box. Um, you can use it for a Blu-ray player. You can use it for your uh, to switch input universal remotes. I find this works really well as a universal remote. I did have the the Logitech uh, various Logitech remotes, and this just replaced them all. I, I find it very easy to use, and this is upgraded from last time. So I did have another uh, Bose product, and this remote is. Uh, more streamlined, so I really like okay, it. Okay, let's talk about the specifications. So, one HDMI input with audio return channel ARC. You've got one HDMI input. That's the only drawback. I really wish it had more HDMI inputs. I don't know why they didn't put more. I think they have the room for it, but they should have put more. They didn't. You only have one HDMI in and one HDMI out, and it'll work with ARC. Not a big fan of ARC. I use, I, I run everything now to the soundbar. I run all my inputs to the soundbar, so I wish it had more inputs. I don't like using ARC to any television, actually. So anyway, uh, aside from that, you've got one optical audio, you have a power input, uh, you have an ethernet port, you also have, have wireless Wi-Fi, so that's also very good. Um, 
you have a USB connection as well. So if you need to use that. Other than that, um, you know, you get your universal remote in the box. You've got your headset to do the adapt tech and run through that. Uh, so that you can set up the sound, listens for the sound in the room, and that's really nice. Also, HDMI cable and optical cable, so that's really good. That's what comes with it. Okay, so if you like this video, please like and share with your friends, comment. I love your comments. I do these videos weekly, and look forward to talking to you all again. Thanks. So let's look at the app. I want to go through the app with you and show you how that works because it's really an integral part of how this sound system works. Okay, so I'm going to go through the SoundTouch app. So here we have it downloaded, SoundTouch. I'm going to go into it. And when we go into it, we see that we have all our internet streaming channels under local. We have featured and we have global. So if you go here to the hamburger menu, you'll see that you have iHeartRadio, Pandora, and TuneIn, and Internet Radio, all as marked as favorites. Uh, you can add a service if you want to add Amazon Music, Deezer, iHeartRadio, Pandora, SiriusXM, Spotify. You can have music library on a NAS. You can have TuneIn and music on a library, music library on a computer, of course. Um, if I go to settings, uh, you have your account information, which I'm not going to go into right now, but we have add or reconnect a speaker. We can do that, and you can see that I'm connected to Wi-Fi, or you can connect to Ethernet. That'll show that right here. I'll go back into settings, and you can see your speaker settings. So right here, I can add a speaker. If I was adding a surround speaker or uh, another speaker, you can add that there. Um, if I go into it, you're going to get into your audio settings and you can see I can adjust the center channel, the surround level. I can change that, which is really nice. I have a plus one on my surround. I just boosted that up a little bit since they are on the floor for me right now. Um, you got music services, which we just went through. You've got help and about. If I go down to the bottom, you'll see the SoundTouch 300, which is connected right now. And if I go to that, it shows a small picture of the soundbar. That isn't an actual to scale picture. Obviously, the soundbar is much louder, a lot larger. And we have, uh, I can turn it on and off. I can get into the settings. And of course, you get your Bluetooth settings. You set your internet uh, radio locale. Uh, we can set that. And we went through audio settings which is what we did before. You can go into advanced setup and you could set up some, some other channels. We can connect to a Wi-Fi. We can re remove a spe particular speaker. Uh, we can adjust the volume level for the sound touch as well. Uh, you can play local radio stations just like this and you can add them just as you'd like. If you go to the top right, you're gonna see that you can set presets and it's really nice so if you go into it you'll be able to just hit one of those and you're playing a radio station and you can hear that right now that's a radio station that's playing i'm going to go ahead and stop that and you can get back so this is just kind of an overview of what you have with the soundtouch radio app